So we're going to talk about uh, the G7. Uh, we talk about uh, where we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to announce today that we're going to do the 46th G7 summit um, on uh, June 10th through June 12th at the Trump National Doral uh, facility in Miami, Florida. Uh, the focus of the event um, will be uh, global growth and challenges to the global economy. Specifically, we're dealing with things like uh, rejuvenating incentives for growth and prosperity, rolling back uh, prosperity killing regulations, ending trade barriers, and reopening energy markets. So taking a lot of what we have been doing here domestically uh, with such success and trying to encourage the rest of the world to get on board. As we sit here and our economy does so well, you look all across the world right now and the rest of the world is either at or near recession. Um, and we really do think that we have hit on a formula that works not only here, but that would work overseas. We're going to take the G7 as the opportunity to try and convince other nations uh, that they can have the same successes by following the same model. Now, let's talk about the site selection process, because I know you folks will ask some questions about that. How do we go about doing this? Uh, first of all, we use a lot of the same criteria uh, that have been used by past administrations. There's a long list of the accommodations on site, uh, the, the, uh, the, the ballrooms, bilateral rooms, the number of rooms, the photo ops, the support hotels that are there, the, the proximity to cities and airports, uh, helicopter landing zones, medical facilities, etc. Um, so we use the same set of criteria that previous administrations have used. Uh, we started with a list of about a dozen um, just on paper. Uh, and we sent an advanced team out to actually visit 10 locations in uh, several states. We uh, visited uh, California, Colorado, Florida, Hawaii, Michigan, North Carolina, Tennessee, uh, and Utah. Uh, we got that list down to just under 10, uh, and the advanced team went out to visit those. And from there, we got down to four finalists that our senior uh, team went out to, to look at. They looked at, uh, I think it was one in Hawaii, uh, two in Utah, and then the, uh, the Mar-a-Lago facility uh, in Florida. And uh, it became apparent at the end of that process um, that Doral was by far and away, far and away, the best physical facility uh, for this meeting. In fact, uh, I was talking to one of the advanced teams when they came back, and I said, what was it like? And he said, Mick, you're not going to believe this, but it's almost like they built this facility to host this type of event. If any of you have been there, um, you know that there's, there's separate buildings um, with their own rooms, uh, separate and apart from each building, so that one country could have a building, another country could have another. You folks could have your building for the press, um, and obviously the, the common areas are, 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 are going to be perfect for our needs down there. Uh, again, anticipating your questions, um, how, is this, uh, how is this not an emoluments uh, violation? How is, how, is the president going to profit from this? Um, I think the president has pretty much made it very clear since he's got here um, that he doesn't profit from being here. He has no interest in profit from being here. It's one of the reasons that he's not taken a salary since he's been here, he's given that salary uh, to charity, will not be profiting here. Um, we had talked about the possibility of, of whether or not the president could actually do it at, at no cost. They understand there's difficulties with doing it that way. Um, but we also have difficulties, obviously, if they charge market rates. So they're doing this at cost. As a result, it's actually going to be dramatically cheaper for us to do it at Doral as, at, uh, compared to the, uh, the other final sites um, that we had. Um, so we're looking forward to that, uh, to that, to that, uh, to that meeting. Uh, again, June 10th through 12th of next year for the 46th G7. 